Hi everyone, welcome to another psdvault.com tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to create an artistic abstract with the warp tool in Photoshop. So to begin I'll just grab the ellipse tool and draw ourselves a circle there. And then I'll be setting the uh, layer blending options to have inner shadow with those values now in order to start warping that we need to use the free transform tool which you can find in the edit menu there and right click and choose warp so then it's a matter of dragging around those edge markers in whichever way we want there. And of course it being abstract, there's no right or wrong here. So in addition to using the ellipse tool, we can actually use um, the ellipse marquee tool. Just draws ourselves a circle there with the marquee. And then we can use a big soft white brush instead of a solid white color for the proper ellipse tool. Then deselect that and control T to free transform again, right click and warp and again it's the same process So repeat that a couple of times for each different abstract shape type with the solid ellipse tool as well as the marquee tool and you can see I've grouped them together like that. Well, next I'm going to create another sort of abstract globe type figure which actually ends up looking like an alien face. You'll see that in a minute. So grab the ellipse again, make it a proper sphere and we'll just put the gradient overlay on that to make it look spherical now I've created a new layer and we're going to put some more circles on top of the sphere so grab the ellipse again make it black this time and we'll make it roughly oval in shape make sure there's no effects on there. Now we're just going to free transform and rotate that a little bit to make it sit a little bit better as if it's actually on the sphere properly So now I'm going to apply the blending options to that. Uh, turn on the inner glow with those values there and the stroke as well. Turn on. That looks alright. Okay, so we'll duplicate that and we'll put another copy it, a copy of the circle onto the other side of the sphere. Rotate it, resize it a little bit to get it just so. And 
and then I'm just going to put a slight highlight on top of it. So create a new layer, grab a soft white brush and set the blending mode there to be overlay. Okay, so as you can see, I've duplicated those again and positioned them in and amongst the shapes that we got there. So now I'm just going to create a background gradient layer here. White to black with the circular gradient starting off screen, or off the edge of the canvas, I should say. And going to create some fuzzy white spots in there as well. So create another layer, grab a soft white brush, just position the spots randomly around it here. Let's create another interesting effect, create a larger brush here as well, white again. That looks good enough there, okay. Okay, so almost at the end here, what I'm going to do is flatten this whole image now, and duplicate that, then we're going to add a um, median noise filter to this and we'll set the opacity down just to take the edges off off those shapes that we made before around about 60% ought to do it I reckon yeah not that low okay And last but not least, we're going to add some color to this now. So create a new layer, set the layer blending mode to overlay, and paint in your colors with the brushes of uh, differing softness. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. I mean, you can sync it with the opacity there, whatever you want it to do, however you want it to look. And here's another one we did, which can be found on the PSD Vault website. Okay, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.